There is one important step in studying for your actuarial exam that can seem so tempting to skip over. It is so not fun. It can seem so unnecessary. It can actually feel like it's a waste of time, but I promise you it is not. Most future actuaries will skip it though. They'll write it off as being unimportant. But if you want to give yourself the best chance of passing your actuarial exam, then you must do this one thing that most are unwilling to do. And that's what you're going to learn in this video. By the way, I'm Bria, associate of the Society of Actuaries and founder of the Actuary Accelerator community where we train future actuaries how to become top candidates and get their very first actuarial job. So let's get into this video. Three, two, one. Go. Okay, so there are three main phases that you'll go through while you're studying. At least there are three that you should go through. If you're a member of the Actuary Accelerator community, go check out this video for the full details on each phase. Now, first there's the study phase, and this is where you're going through your study materials and really learning all the math concepts and the actuarial terminology that you need to know in order to pass the exam. The second phase is when you do lots of practice problems. This is where you really start to practice everything you've learned in the first phase. And then the the third phase is when you do tons and tons of practice exams in exam conditions. For this video, we're going to completely ignore the very first phase where you're going through your study material, and we're going to focus on the second and the third phase where you're doing tons of practice problems. Okay, so while you're going through these two different phases, you're going to be doing tons and tons of practice problems, actually hundreds of them, maybe even over a thousand. I do recommend that over the course of your exam studying, you do at least 1,000 practice problems to be fully prepared prepared for the exam. Most future actuaries love to get practice problems right. It's a great sign that you're understanding the material and that you're on the right track. And I know this because I've worked with so many future actuaries in our actuary accelerator community, specifically the mentorship option, but also in our previous program, the study strategy program. But what tends to upset future actuaries is when they get a problem wrong. It can feel really frustrating. It can feel like you just want to skip it and move on. And I made this mistake too. It was something I did all the time because I did not not want to deal with those difficult questions that I had no idea how to handle them. But now my thoughts have changed. In my opinion now, the questions that you get right are actually the ones that are a waste of time. They're the useless ones. The ones that you get wrong are the gift. They're the ones that you should be happy to find. They're the ones you should get excited about. Because when you find one of these questions that you get wrong, it means that you're going to actually have the opportunity to improve and learn something new. It's going to help you increase your chances of passing your exam. It does seem a little bit backwards, doesn't it? So let me explain. Well, the questions that you get wrong tell you that there's something you do not fully understand. There's something you need a refresher on. It's like a clue to your weaker areas. And having too many weak areas on exam day will probably lead to failing. So the more weaker areas you can uncover and fix before you step foot into the exam room, then the higher your chances are of passing, right? If that makes sense, make sure to give this video a thumbs up to let me know. So most future actuaries have the tendency to skip over these difficult questions, the questions that they get wrong, because they just want to feel good. They want to feel accomplished. They love seeing all the questions that they've got right, and I don't blame them. I loved seeing all those questions too. So take note of that. Spending time on those problems that you're getting right is not getting you any closer to passing your exam. So here's my advice. When you find a practice problem that you don't know how to do or one that you get wrong, be happy about it because now you know the best use of your time in that moment. The best use of your time is going to be on doing these things. First, reviewing the solution to that practice problem and making sure you really understand it. Next is to figure out why your solution didn't work. That's equally as important as understanding why the actual solution does work. Then you're going to want to review that topic in your study material, especially if the solution is still not making complete sense. Keep on reviewing excessively until you do understand. Then you're going to redo the problem again without looking at the solution. And then finally, you're going to track that problem so that you can come back to it later. And by the way, nowhere in here did I say anything about memorizing. Do not memorize memorize things for your actuarial exams. It's about understanding, not memorization. Now, once you've been able to track about 20 different problems that you previously got wrong, you're going to do them all again. But this time you should get about 80% or more of them right because you've taken the time to understand the solution, do any review in your study material that you need, and you've also taken the time to redo the problem yourself without looking at the solution. So you should have a really high success rate on these problems when you're doing them 
again. Now, any problems that you do get wrong, you know that you still don't fully understand that concept. So you're going to repeat this process again, and that'll be hugely beneficial for exam day. So I really wanna make it clear that spending your limited study time by practicing questions that you've got wrong and really understanding the solutions to questions you get wrong is a very, very valuable part of your study time, and it should not be skipped. It's going to significantly increase your chances of passing your exam if you focus on your trouble areas and keep on working on them until you finally get them. Now, I am going to be creating more videos on studying for actuarial exams and the actuarial exam process. So if you do have any questions, make sure to comment down below and let me know so I can include those in a future video. Now, actuarial exams are definitely an important part of becoming an actuary, but there are other things that you need to do in addition if you wanna become a top candidate for entry-level actuarial jobs. So to learn what you should be focusing your time on after you pass your exam, then make sure you go watch this video next, where I review several entry-level actuarial job posts to reveal what actuarial employers are really looking for in great candidates. And you might be surprised to learn that passing just one or two exams might be enough to get you into an entry-level actuarial job.